What's up guys, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com Today we're going to take a look at uh, Swords and Tequila by Riot and uh, this was supported and requested by Roland so big thanks goes out to him uh, The tabs are going to be available at GuitarForce.com Unfortunately I couldn't make and find a backing track to this song so we're just going to have some guitar samples uh, The tuning for this song is standard and uh, for the sound I was using the VST plug-in guitar rig and uh, I'm going to show you the picture of the preset and uh, while you are checking it out I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright, so without further ado let's go for the close up and start this lesson. Alright, so we're going to start off with the opening riff which goes like this. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be playing some double stops against the A, open string, palm muted, and it's kind of going to be our tonal center, so everything is uh, played against it. So it starts off uh, with the uh, open A string, uh, two times palm muted. All the time when we play the A string, we're going to be palm muting it. So two times with the, uh, two times the A open string. Then we play the first double stop, which is going to be on the D and the G string, second fret. So we play. Okay. Uh, these two double stops against the A string. Then we go to the uh, fifth fret and we're playing the same strings, but we are fretting now the fifth fret. After the fifth fret, we play the A string again two times and then we play this G chord, which looks like this pick it two times, then we return to playing the A string open and this time it starts off on the off beat with another open string. So we have one open string and then we are back to the beginning of the riff. So all together is going to be three open strings. And then we kind of repeat the first part from the beginning which is exactly the same. When we get to the 5th fret, second time we play this double stop two times. Then we play the A string open once and then we play the chord, the G chord. And then we have... Uh, which is uh, playing the C chord, it's a power chord, C, B to A. And then after that we uh, start from the, from the beginning playing again the first part just like we did the first time. Now here, uh, there, he's slightly changing the rhythm, so he plays the A power chord, then picks the D and the G string and, and uh, let it ring out, and then we are back to the, uh, to the riff. So it's, it's exactly the same thing the second part, with the exception of uh, some rhythm changes here and there. So I'm going to play through the whole thing, the intro riff, slowly, so uh, you can play along uh, with me. So it goes like this. Okay, so during the intro part there is a second guitar which is just playing uh, some power chords, mainly the um, A power chord, and kind of let it ring out, you know, accent this chord. And then after that we go into the main riff which is going to be played also during the verses, which goes like this. So as you can see it's practically the same thing as we did uh, during the intro part where, when the two guitars are playing this riff and it's like I said exactly the same thing with slight uh, rhythmical variations but all in all it's the same riff. 
And then before we go actually to the first verse, we have a transition which is which goes like this. <laughs> So we're just playing the power chord, C power chord. So we play this for two bars, then we pick it one more time. And then in the end, before we go to the uh, main uh, riff of the song, we have again this transition, which is the C uh, power chord to B to A. And then we're back to, uh, to the main riff, which is being played during the verses. Same thing. After that we go into the pre-chorus and the pre-chorus goes like this. So nothing too complicated here, just uh, two power chords, C power chord for two bars and then in the end of the um, second bar on the uh, four and beat we go to E power chord, which we play here at the uh, seventh position with the open low E string if you want to. And, all right, after that we go into the uh, chorus itself and it goes like this. Okay, so here we're going to be playing just power chords in the eighth note style, you know, kind of chugging palm muted. So it starts off with the A power chord, and we play these for one bar. Then we go to C power chord, to D, then back to A, and then we have uh, this transition, which is. Uh, on the low E we go 3-5 and then on the A string we go 3-5-3 three, three. then we're back to playing the A power chord again, 8th notes, palm muted C power chord and then we have uh, two chords ringing out which is, the first one is F G and A and then we have which is 3-5 on the low E, and then we go just 5-3 on the A string. Then we repeat the whole section again, so uh, playing exactly the same thing. And then second time we just play these chords F to G to A, and uh, let it ring out and after that we go into the um, again intro riff which is practically the same thing as we did during the intro but uh, it's slightly different uh, in rhythmical figure again so i'm gonna play it through and just uh, gonna explain where the the uh, differences are so it goes like this <laughs> So again, this part starts off with the transition which is using the C power chord to B to A. And then we're practically playing the same thing as we did uh, during the first intro riff. Now, when you get to here, instead of playing the G power chord, he just plays two single notes, which are on the fifth fret of uh, the D string, the G note, and then goes right into playing um, the chugs on the A string with the power chord. Like that. So, um, after the two single notes, he plays open A string, then the power chord, and then after that we get back to the beginning of the riff, which is... Now, second time when we get to the G chord, he plays the G chord once, and then he's using the whammy bar to create two dips. So, 
presses on quickly and releases the uh, whammy bar, the tremolo arm, two times. Um, I just mimicked it, uh, you know, using kind of uh, pulls here on the strings. And then we get back to the beginning of the riff for the second part, which is... And then after that we get back to the main riff of the song, which is exactly the same thing. We get into the second verse, and again, uh, the same thing happens there. Then we get to the pre-chorus, which is also the same thing. And then we get to the chorus itself, which is again the same thing exactly as we did previously. After the second chorus, we have a transition before the solo, just using some power chords and it goes like this. So just four chords, starting off with the F power chord, going to C power chord, then we play E, and then B flat, and stay on this uh, chord uh, before we go into the solo. Alright, so after that we go right into the solo, and we're going to break it up into licks and phrases, and then I'm going to play the whole solo slowly. So the first phrase goes like this. Starts off with the 5th fret on the low E string, with some added vibrato, then we go to the 8th fret, then on to the A string, 5 to 7, and then 7 on D. So, so far we've got this. Next phrase goes like this. So it starts off with the uh, hammer on pull off on the G string, 5, 7, 5. D string 7, back to G5, then we play unison bend, which is uh, G string 7 fret, bend it, bend it up, and at the same time uh, fret the 5th uh, fret of the B string. Then we have 5 on B, 5 on high E, back to 5 on B. Then we play 8 on the B string, 5 on high E, back to 8 frets on the B string, and then we bend it up. Then we pick high E on the 5, on the 5th fret, and then bend the B string on the 8th fret again. So, slowly gonna be like this. Then after that we have So we have a series of repetitive licks. So it's um, hammer on pull off, 5, 8, 5 on the high E string, to the 8th on the B string. And we play this lick for, uh, for 4 times. Then we have... So it's... Um, getting back to the 5th frets of uh, the high E string. And then we have two pull-offs here, 8 to 5 and 7 to 5 on the high E. Then we play 8 on the B string, back to high E, 5. Then we have two pull-offs on the B string, 8 to 5, 7 on G, 5 on B, and then we have bend here on the 7th fret and then bend on the 5th fret on the G string. Then we go to 7th fret on the D, and then we play double stop 7 to 5 on the G and the B strings. So, so far we got this, slowly. Then the next part we have a harmonic here on the 5th fret of the G string, if you get the B in it's okay as well. And then use your whammy bar, you know, uh, just to create a dive bomb, a little, a uh, little slight dive bomb here. Then after that we go into... into this lick which is bending the G string on the 7th fret and then picking the double stop which is on the high E and the B strings 
two times. And we have this. So we do this for a few bars. And then after that we have, uh, it's just a... So it's kind of taking the... Um, the double stop here on the fifth fret of the high E and the B, and then you go um, chromatically up all the way to the twelfth fret while uh, picking fast, and then in the end we have just a bend here on the twelfth fret of the high E string, two bends up and down, and then you slide out. All right, so here's the whole solo slowly, all of the licks together. It goes like this. Okay, so after the solo we get back to playing the pre-chorus, which is exactly the same thing. Starts off with the C, going to E, and uh, we're playing practically the same thing as we did previously. So we go into the chorus, the last one, and then in the end of the uh, chorus we have a uh, ending which goes like this. So we have a slightly different ending here, so again we start off with the F power chord going to G, but then we have two other chords which are C to D, and then we play uh, the F to G to A, and then we have the outro lick which is something like this. So. It's just uh, you know the outro lick, which is um, we can break it up, break it down like this: bending the B, the B string on the eighth fret, then we play hammer on pull off five eight five on the high E string, going to B string eight, and we play it two times. Then we have hammer on pull off five eight five on the B string, seven on on G. Then we do same on the G string, 5, 7, 5 on the G, 7 on D, and then we play a harmonic here uh, on the D and the G strings, and uh, use the whammy bar to create the dive bomb, and then just play the A power chord. So slowly it would be like this. Alright guys, so that was it for this lesson, hope you liked it. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up, also comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar related stuff. In the meantime, I'll see you again, take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.